You don't really know much about Halloween. Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. Uh, looks like the Vinegar Syndrome subscriber package has arrived and uh, it's a small order this week but after the, the last one I had from Powerhouse slash Indicator. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> but these were already paid for so win? Anyway, so let's just go ahead and get started here. If you have seen the other Vinegar Syndrome uh, release videos, you may have already seen these but First one we have is The House Where Death Lives, aka Delusion from 1981. Uh, we've got a really nice little slipcase here for all of you uh, slipcase fanatics. And you've got the original poster there, as well as all the special features and information on the back. So pretty standard as far as uh, packaging goes. Uh, this movie is about a nurse who goes to a home to care for a uh, man who is... Uh, they. Review I saw it said the word crippled. I don't know. It seems like a weird word choice, but uh, uh, then people in the house start being murdered. So why? I guess you'll have to find out. This is directed by Alan Beatty, uh, who only has one other film credit to his name that is full length, which is a film called Stand Alone. Poster for that over here. Uh, this stars one John Dukakis, who you may remember from Jaws 2 and a whole lot of TV, um, and Alice Nunn who was, uh, for my wife, who was sitting behind the camera, she may remember her as Large Marge sent ya. Yeah, she's in this film. That piqued my wife's interest, I think. This is newly dead. Um, so just a fun fact about this. Uh, Michael Dukakis, you may recognize that name if you're a person of my age, as being the son of um, the gentleman who ran for office back in the day. Um, he and his son originally uh, left acting to go into politics with his father, uh, then left that for the entertainment business where he developed a then unknown New Kids on the Block. So, pretty good career there. Also, uh, this was Alan Beatty's first feature shot uh, for under one million on the back of his two prior Oscar-nominated short films. So they said, hey, you're doing good with these short films. Let's give you some money to do a, uh, a big budget feature. And this was the result. Next up, we have Witch Story from 1989. This is the 4K release for this month. Uh, really nice packaging. Again, uh, Vinegar Syndrome always does a super nice job, which I don't quite understand the, the slip on slip action. But I guess if you're really into, uh, you know, your slipcover porn, as they say, um, then this is exciting. I mean, I like slipcovers, but they're not a necessity. Although I do really like this art here with this. I'm, I'm big on chainsaws and horror movies for whatever reason. And uh, so this uh, person looking like they're from the Evil Dead wielding a chainsaw is is a very cool one. Anyway, uh, this matches the, the front. You know, nothing too crazy here. Uh, I just need to get a 4K player and a 4K TV at some point. That's in the future. Not right now. It's not in the cards, but eventually. Um, so this is about... Uh, siblings and friends who visit uh, an inherited house, which you've probably heard of that just, uh, happening before in other films. Most recently, the Texas Chainsaw 3D with uh, Alexandria Daddario. Anyway, they're unaware that it's haunted by demons and a witch's ghost seeking revenge for their execution. Um, so not only do you have demons, you've also got a witch's ghost as well, hence the name Witch Story. Uh, this was directed by Alessandro Capone who did a film called 2047 Sights of Death, which I thought sounded kind of intriguing, and uh, did six episodes of a TV show called Detective Extra Large, which sounds vaguely like it could be an adult film from the 70s starring John Holmes, but I don't know. It's a TV show. I don't know anything about it. Um, this stars one Pierre Augustino, which the reason I put him in here is as I was scrolling through his credits, two jumped out at me, which were The Hollywood Strangler meets The Skid Row Slasher, 
and Las Vegas Serial Killer, which are both uh, Ray Dennis Steckler movies, which if you have not picked up the Ray Dennis Steckler box that was out, uh, that was uh, put out by Severin, it's fantastic. Uh, it it's, goes through his entire career, and there's just so much good stuff in there. Eventually, it just kind of sinks down into some pretty uh, racy uh, pornographic stuff, but it starts out on a high note. And um, anyway, I'm getting off on a side. Uh, this was originally marketed in the U.S. as the sequel to Superstition from 1982. And then in Germany, it was mark uh, marketed as the sequel to Larry Cohen's uh, Wicked Stepmother. So it's neither. Um, <laughs> But back in the day, it was a Wild West when there was not uh, video, home video. And so if you wanted to go see a movie, you had to go see it in the theater or hope that it showed on TV with a TV version. Um, and so they could just be like, mm, this is the sequel to that to get asses in seats. And finally, uh, the one I'm most excited about, because who doesn't love Cynthia? Cynthia Rothrock and uh, Vinegar Syndrome must have made a deal with her. Um, and, uh, you know, this may be already common knowledge but uh because every they've picked up pretty much everything from her catalog and are slowly releasing them uh this is one of two that are coming out this year alone um and for the subscribers uh this is lady reporter from 1989 which again has a very nice job with the, the packaging <clears throat> and uh i'm a fan so i i have no problem with this as being a kid of the 90s going over to my buddy uh, brad's house with my other friends we get a pizza and some uh, soda and we'd sit and watch, you know, whatever 90s action movie we could find that was <laughs> that was in the video store. Um, and Cynthia was always on the shelf. There was always something coming out from her. Uh, this one is about an F FBI agent who works undercover as a journalist to track counterfeiters. Why not? Uh, this was directed by Mang Hui, who did Writing Wrongs and Yes, Madam which are also both Cynthia Rothrock titles, which is the reason I included them. They have more credits, but I always just pick a couple that relate to what I'm discussing. Uh, like I said, it stars Cynthia Rothrock, who uh, was in pretty much every 80s and 90s martial arts action film and direct video that was released uh, both in the States and overseas. So she's still making movies today, and kicking ass and doing her thing. So good on her. Uh, this also stars one Jeffrey Falcon, who... You may not recognize the name, but there was a movie that came out in the 90s called Six String Samurai, which just got a beautiful release, which I have on the shelf, um, that I happened upon with one of my best friends back in the day and was just floored by it. It was just a crazy post-apocalyptic samurai western musical thing. I don't know. It was crazy. Red Elvises were in it. Anyway, I've never seen anything else from Jeffrey Falcon. He's disappeared off the face of the planet. He doesn't want anything to do with the film business anymore. But he's in here. I didn't know. Happy little accident. Um, apparently in this film, there's a scene where Cynthia Rothrock is jumping from a burning building while holding a baby. They had to film it so many times with her performing the stunt herself uh, in high heels that the night after filming, uh, she was experiencing dizziness and was taken to a hospital where a physician uh, declared her healthy but claimed that the stunt had jumbled her internal organs. Because note to self, kids, don't do... Uh, stunts where you're jumping off of buildings in high heels because you'll get jumbled insides. Uh, so that is it. Short and sweet. Uh, I'm very excited about these. I don't know when I'll get to them. My backlog of stuff is huge and it keeps growing. That's on me. But uh, anyway, if you'd like to check out any of our other videos, uh, just check in the links below. There's a lot of stuff um, and I'm releasing more stuff all the time. We put out six new uh, bits of content every week. Uh, we always take Friday off, so there's always something to find. But you can check us out at thenewlydeads.com for all of your Newly Deads needs. Um, we're also going to be featured at the upcoming Summer Ween at Wolf Hollow in Rockford. So if you want to come by, check out our artwork, buy something, get us to sign it for you. Our limited edition stickers will be there. I'll put those up here for you to see. We have a limited edition poster I'll put up here for you to see as well. Um, and so we'll be there. Come by, say hello. And... Um, Trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to promote. I can't think of anything right now. So just remember, kids, that uh, tomorrow's not guaranteed. So don't forget to unbox your heart. See you soon.
Happy Halloween.